Yo! What is going on, everybody? I'm your host, Biscuits, and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to be customizing the Gallivanter Baller ST-D. I have to say, Rockstar did a very good job. It looks spot on to its real-life counterpart. This vehicle is based on a fifth-generation Range Rover. So without further ado, let's hop in here and get to customizing. So the Baller STD is in the SUVs class and starting off with some arch covers, we have primary, secondary, carbon, or black. Let's go with the black. I think that is a nice look. Armor 100%, brakes will go race, body trim. So we have stock, primary, secondary, carbon, or black. Let's go for the black trim. I like that it blacks out the grill as well. Moving on to the front bumper, we have a small splitter, medium splitter, or a race spec. I think I'll go for the small splitter a nice touch nothing too aggressive moving on to the rear bumper we have a rear diffuser oh boy okay we have a street diffuser or race okay man all these are overkill uh, i guess we'll go for the street diffuser just to throw something on there engine let's go level four exhaust we have squared titanium, we have round bore, round titanium, we have the quad round, we have short bore titanium, we have the quad polished, and long bore titanium. Let's go for the quad round bore. I think that is a nice touch. It is uh, chrome and it matches the chrome gallivanter emblem on the trunk. For the hood, we can do a flat hood. Looks like it gets rid of the body lines. We also have a sport hood, vented sport, carbon vented. We have vented race hood. We have the rally hood and the vented rally. Let's go for the vented sport. Horn is fine for the headlights. Headlights look nice and bright as is, so we'll leave those as they are. Livery, okay, so we got white stripes. We have black stripes. We have the white stripes alternative and same thing but black. We also have the British flag for king and then same thing, the British flag but monotone and country. We also have the luxury livery an alternative luxury livery with like a gold theme. Dual camo. We have the alternative dual camo. And finally, Flint Racing. All right, so I'm not sure about a livery. We may go back, we'll have to see. Mirrors. We have a secondary stock mirror option. We have a carbon stock. We also have black stock. Primary alternative, secondary alternative. Carbon and black. Yeah, I kind of like the black alternative mirrors. Match that up with the grill and the trim option we opted for. Mud guards, absolutely not. Plate. So we'll go biscuits plate, of course, but we'll make it yellow on black. Respray, we'll do that very last. Roof. Okay, so we can go full primary, full secondary, full carbon, or full black. I kind of have uh, a theme in mind for this build. So let's go full black roof. Spoiler, so we have a primary trunk upper and it looks like it's just, it just paints the bottom portion of the spoiler, the primary color. Okay, we also have a secondary trunk. We have carbon, black trunk upper. We have a primary trunk cutout, secondary carbon, and black. 
We have the primary aggressive, secondary aggressive, carbon, black. Oh boy, apparently some spoilers. Trunk mounted, oh my goodness. And it adds in like trunk pins? Oh, man. <laughs> and the trunk mounted big wing. All right, those uh, last few spoiler options are absolutely ridiculous and do not belong on a Range Rover at all. All right, let's go for the black aggressive trunk cutout. So that turns the entire roof black, so the top half of the car is black. That looks very nice. Sun strips, so we have plastic, primary or secondary. Moving on to the suspension, we're gonna slam this thing all the way down. Oh man, look at those wheels. I love how those cambered in like that. Competition suspension, absolutely. And it's just, honestly, this thing looks hilarious now that the wheels are like cambered in that much. It's really funny that Rockstar included that with certain vehicles in the game. When you slam them, they just become cambered in. <laughs> I think it looks absolutely hilarious. And uh, we want to maximize the performance of this car, right? So... Yeah, competition, absolutely. Transmission, we will go all the way up, of course. Turbo, absolutely. Uh, wheels will come right back to those. Let's do the windows first, and let's black them out. Oh yeah, that is a very good look for this car. All right, wheels. I have something in mind under the track category. Yes, the forged star. Those wheels look so good on this car. They almost look like they're like from the factory. So absolutely, got to throw those on. Uh, for a color, yeah, I think we are going to have to go black. I think that's going to look very nice. And tires, we definitely want to do bulletproof. And okay, so let's figure out a respray. So we have a primary color. And we also have a secondary color. And for the secondary color, it appears to be only the stitching on the interior seats. And we also have a trim color. And that looks like it is part of the dash, not all of it, and the seats. For a primary, I think we're gonna try this metallic grace red. For the secondary color, let's go ahead and just match it up. Grace red as well for the stitching. Very nice, and for the trim color, let's go black. And let's actually throw on the Black Stripes alternative livery. And okay, I believe that is everything, so let's get this outside, we can do a sound test and some first driving impressions. And here is the Galavanter Baller STD, outside in the sun, fully tricked out. I love the blacked out grill and accents. Look really nice as well as the black trim. And I love the two-tone as well. I love how the entire roof is black. Now, obviously I would have liked to seen it have a gloss black option. This is kind of almost like a matte or maybe even like a satin, uh, but that's all good. It's not terrible. So the wheels look sick. They are on point. The diffuser is a little bit overkill, but it was like the only option other than stock that was suitable for this car, at least in my opinion. I have to say the taillights do look kind of similar to the, uh, the Jubilee's taillights. Let's get all the doors open and get a look at everything, starting off underneath the hood. So... Decent detail in the engine model. There's not really much room to see anything. There's just so many plastic covers over everything, which is kind of on par with how stuff is these days in the car industry. If you buy a brand new car, there's just plastic covers everywhere underneath the hood because they purposely make it difficult for you to work on your own car because they want you to bring it back to the dealer. Moving on to the passenger side here. I love the red stitching on the seats. It is a very nice touch to complement the paint. And 
And here to the back passenger seat. Got a couple cup holders back here for the back passenger. That's nice. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Moving back here to the trunk. Quite a bit of room. Um, not really any detail, though. It just looks like all just kind of black. Passenger back behind the driver's seat. Yeah, so definitely a copy and pasted interior. This has been used once before in this game. And here is the driver's side. So it looks like Rockstar got it right on the pedals. Two pedals. It's an automatic, obviously. All right, let's go ahead and give it some gas and do that sound test. Sounds pretty good, actually. It sounds quite aggressive. All right, first driving impressions. Let's go ahead and floor it. Okay, not bad acceleration. I would say um, slightly above average acceleration for an SUV. The Gallivanter Baller STD has a top speed of 118 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and try a drive train test. Of nice. Okay, so this vehicle is all wheel drive. All right, let's try a brake test now that we are at top speed and brake. Nice. Brakes actually slowed it down pretty good. I would say slightly above average brakes for an SUV. It did stop a bit quicker than I expected it to. So the handling is actually not bad. Seems pretty responsive. Some slight oversteer on turns, but I think that is to be expected with a heavy luxury SUV. All right, guys, so there you have it. The Gallivanter Baller STD. Overall, this is a pretty cool luxury SUV in GTA Online. For the price, it's a little bit steep, uh, 1.7 million, but you are getting the best looking Range Rover in the game. And customization is actually pretty good on this thing. There is lots of different build options you can go with. So if you guys are big fans of Range Rover in real life, then yes, I would definitely recommend picking this up. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more stuff like this. Thank you guys for watching. Please stay safe, and I will catch you all on the next video. Peace.